can do the asking all right I'm so glad you're here Yeah, there's a lot of faces, hello at home A lot of faces in here, a lot of famous names Would you believe the Morecambe and Wise are in here? Mrs. Morecambe, Mrs. Wise, Joan and Dorian is sitting up there somewhere, where are you Joan? We've got a gang here, we've got two gold medalists and a bronze sitting down there from the Olympics. Stephanie Cook, Kelly Holmes, and Audley Harrison, a new super heavyweight champion of the Olympics. Let me ask you a question before you ask me one. Is that right that a British journalist called you Audrey? And if so, what hospital is he in? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's your question? Well, basically, it was, uh, you know, we had a great time in Australia. And I know you've been there a lot, Des. And uh, just how do you get with the Aussies? Oh, I love them. The way they talk. I love the positive attitude of the Aussies. You must have loved it. I mean, they're just different kinds. You ought to go to Australia, apart from that wonderful weather, just to have your meal served by an Australian waiter. Did you get this? The savoir faire, the finesse, the stuff. I said, oh, you got your thumb on my steak. Well, I don't want to drop it again, do I, mate? <laughs> Where was that place we got lost? Yapoon. Place called Yapoon. I can't believe a place, a real place in northern Queensland called Yapoon. I was saying the words, where's Yapoon? Next to your knife and your fork. <laughs> <laughs> the thing I love, the thing I love about the Aussies, the female, the female of the species, the Australian female, there's something about her, I don't know, because I, I, that woman took a shine to you, didn't she? This woman came running the eye in the eye. I don't know what it is these days, women and men who are follically challenged. <laughs> and this big bird came running down the aisle. Big Aussie, everything going in different directions. <laughs> she sat a life out of me. And I, you know the way she said, I'd love to kiss your pianist, and I heard it wrong. <laughs> what a nice guy. Right, any more questions you have here? Lionel, Lionel Richie is here. <laughs> Lionel. Lovely to see you, Lionel. Oh, great. I, I've got to just say, I, I don't really have a question. I just want oh. to just congratulate you on all the years of, of your music, man. It's oh. fantastic. I mean, 33 albums and, yeah. and millions of albums sold. I mean, what was that, pun? <laughs> what was that? I, I was saying that you have if millions of albums sold. Man. What did you say? Could you come up here? I can't hear what you're saying. No. Would you, would you come up here, Lionel? <laughs> now, Richie. It's so nice to see you. It's so nice to see you. I was just saying that with all of the millions of albums that you sold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I still can't hear you, but... Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah, I yeah, sold quite a few over the years. And the, and the great part about it is part of those on albums, at least five of those, were my songs. That's why I wanted to thank you. Yeah. Absolutely right. <laughs> Absolutely right. Well, I, I don't want to... I don't want to be mealy-mouthed about this, but don't you think it's about time you recorded one of mine? Well, that would be nice. <laughs> well, you know, there's classics amongst them. Dick a Dum Dum. You know, it's funny you should say that. I was with Tina Turner the other day. She You're sings Tina that, Turner? She sings that song all the time. Yeah, yeah. Really. Tina Turner. I'm, t I'm telling you, I she's... was there the other night, and she was walking around singing the song. I couldn't well, believe there it. There you are. It's an enlightening world. <laughs> Tina Turner. Besotted with my dick a dum dum Well, it's, uh, <laughs> it's an interesting thought. Listen, uh, let's take a walk over here. I've got you this close. Yes. Uh, you play piano a bit, don't you? Piano? I do. Could I you, do. Would you sit down a moment there? Why don't we do one of yours? <laughs> Cunning, I'm cunning, I'm cunning. Uh, anyone you like, uh, you nod your head when I have to come in and I'll hit it. Thanks for the times that you've given me. The memories are all in my mind. We've come to the end of our rainbow. There's something I must say. 
say out loud You're once Twice Three times A lady And I love You Millions Millions Lovely, lo Esther, how lovely to see you, Esther. Lovely to see you. Esther Ranson, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Esther, bless you. Yes. yes. Now you've interviewed all the stars in the world, have you not? The big ones, the small ones. Few. The, <laughs> a, a few. Now, have you got a favourite? Was there one you really liked? I can't say that. Half of them are in here tonight. But, uh, <laughs> I, yeah, well, some, there's some marvellous moments. I remember doing the World Cup uh, special a couple of years ago. And... Um, I thought, I'll try something. The Prime Minister there, Mr Blair, and I said, look, if England win the World Cup, will you come back and will you sing with me? And he said, well, um, uh, I shall uh, watch the results with mixed emotions now, but uh, <laughs> yes, I will. I thought, yeah. So then Elton came on, and I said, Elton, um, if England win the World Cup, will you come on and sing with me? He said, sing with you, I'll sleep with you. <laughs> nice moment. If there was one that I didn't have that I wanted on the show, would love to have had on the show, was Fred Astaire. Because I'm, I'm a Fred Astaire fan through and through. I thought the man was absolutely brilliant. Well, we can do a Fred Astaire song, can't we? Why not? Let's one, try this. I'm just two, like the feel of One, two, three, four. Steady now. <laughs> Calm down. It's just something about this kind of music. I just got an invitation through the man. Cause I'm about to step out to see the top and watch I think Nothing now can take the wind out of my sail Cause I'm about to step out to see the top and watch I think I'm putting on the top and steady Trying up for what's up Just enough I'll take it And I'm tooting up the sugar from Putting them shirts to finally see my name. I'm stepping up my dear to breathe the night bus for that safety reeks with class. And I trust that you excuse my dust when I step on the gas. Cause I'll be there. Putting on top hat. Tired up a white tie. Dust and up ice is gonna shake and this is. 
Shut your mouth. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Watch it, Alan. <laughs> I'm stepping up my dear to breathe an atmosphere that simply reeks with Just when I step on the gas, I can do it. Cause I'll be there. Putting on the top hat. Top hat up one time. Dusting up my tape. I'll be there. Putting up my shirt front. And we'll be out to get the dance. Oh, we'll be out to get the dance. We'll be out to get the dance. In my day, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be a doctor. I was wondering how long it takes to become a doctor. Five years undergraduate, one year clinical. Six years. Five years undergraduate, one year clinical. Six years. Sometimes a dream is worth investing in. Norwich Union helps millions of customers invest. Mum, Dad, you know I said I wanted to be a doctor? Yeah. yeah. I really do. Great. Together we're stronger. Norwich Union. The new Citroen Zara Picasso. Free your mind. Stop! You could win one of 200 Vauxhall Astra SRIs. That's right. One of 200 Vauxhall Astra SRIs. With the new National Lottery Instance Cars and Cash Game. Win a brand new car in an instant. The summer house, Fanny. Mr. Davisham! It's everything I imagined, yet not what I imagined at all. One day, Fanny, Thompson holidaymakers will be equally delighted with their accommodation. But Thompson will pride themselves on the honesty of their brochures. I think I should be deliriously happy on a Thompson holiday. <laughs> what a curious seat. It is a courting couch from Rajasthan. Oh, take me away on a Thompson holiday, you and me, alone. The tune of a thousand sitars. Honest brochures mean your holiday accommodation will be every bit as good as you'd expect, thanks to Thompson. With the new Nokia phone, you have things under control. Use the WAP browser to access mobile internet services. Do your banking. Send email. Even buy flowers. Nokia. Connecting people. Which miniskirted property developer is Britain's richest woman? In tomorrow's Mail on Sunday, discover which mobile phone tycoon broke his neck go-karting but still made a billion. Learn why 23 of Britain's richest own their own football clubs. Who are Britain's richest 300? The Rich Report 2001. Only in tomorrow's Mail on Sunday. Some dreams are worth investing in. Together we're stronger. Norwich Union. On January the 8th, the Kellogg's two-week challenge began, with everyone trying to lose up to six pounds each on the Kickstart diet. Kellogg's most popular cereals contain less than 5% fat. Five or six pound, I'd be very happy. A good Kickstart to weight loss. Across the country, thousands are joining in. Are you? The big weigh-in is on January the 22nd, so keep going.
The nation's favourite newscaster, Trevor MacDonald. Welcome to the new ITV News at 10. Nobody does news better. From the country's top reporters. And still without it interrupting your movie, sport and feature-length drama. The essential News at 10. Another question. Who's got a question? Me, Who's me, me? Me. How? It's Jane. Hello, Jane. How did it all begin for you? Did you start off as a singer? I started out as a comic. I started out uh, on rock and roll shows. I stopped doing the rock and roll shows because the kids were throwing real rocks. <laughs> they didn't like the first spot, let alone doing two spots in front of a pop star. And I said to my agent, that's it. I have had it with the rock shows. It's a learning curve. I said, stop learning curves. I've had it. You haven't been hit with an ice cream carton. I am not going on. <laughs> Do one more, he said. A fella from America is just coming up. He's supposed to be sensational. It's called uh, Buddy Holly. And I said, never heard of him. Well, he said, do it. It's 31 dates in 33 days. I thought, well, that's not too bad. It'll be all right. I put up with a few ice cream cards for that. So I said, OK. And one of the best decisions ever made in my life, because I got to meet Buddy, do the tour with him. I guess I was the only comic that ever worked in this country with Buddy Holly. And it was a fantastic time. Really, he, he was a lovely man, about six foot two. I'm not going to kid you that we became bosom pals, but on a tour that long, you get to know someone. It was just great fun piling on that coach, and he and the crickets would play songs, and I was there when some of the songs we now know were born. So I'd like to just go back to 19, was it really 58, and some of Buddy's songs. Just you know why. Goodbye and bye. No true love away. Sometimes we'll sigh. Sometimes we cry. And we'll know why. You and I, no true love away. I love this one. The sun is out and the sky is blue. There's not a cloud to spoil the view. And it's raining. It's raining in my heart. That man, ah, he says, fair today. He doesn't know you went away. It's raining, it's raining in my heart. Now one day we all piled out of the dicks, got onto the coach, sitting on the coach, and Buddy would get the guitar out, there were the crickets, Jerry and Joe, on a cornflake box and a string bass, and they would sing songs, ah, oh, brilliant times to remember. And one day he said, ah, uh, a fella called Paul Anker sent this song, fellas, what do you think? And we all listened and we said, hey, Buddy, that's a there you go, baby, here am I Well, you left me here So I could sit and cry Well, call it tea, what have you done to me? This it doesn't matter anymore Do you remember, baby, last September? How you held me tight Each and every night, well
do another one. I used to stand in the wings every night and listen to this one every night. This one I had to listen. Yeah, that'll be the day when you say goodbye. Yeah, that'll be the day when you make me cry. You say you're gonna leave. You know it's just like oh, that'll be the day when I die. When you give me all your love and then you drop the dove. I'm all the most of kisses and your money too. And she said you love me, baby. Question. Who's got a question? It's, it's lovely Alice. Alice be Alice. What's the question? Hello. How many guests have you had on that famous couch? Do you want to rephrase that? Um, <laughs> no. We've had a lot, Alice. A, a lot. Um, I've written a little song, actually, about some of the people you have seen on that show. Okay? So she wished me luck here for this. <clears throat> You've seen Tina Turner. You've seen Celine Dion. Bob Hope, Jack D, Tom Jones, and me, and Harry Hill, Vanessa May, and Karen Kay, and Darren Day, Benny Hill, and Tony Blair, and Harry Seek, and Fred Astaire, Bradley Walsh, and Jimmy Now, Mr. Bobby, Telly, Tubby, Cleo Lane, and Roger Moore, Shania Twain, and all the cause, Milligan, and Donegan, Shawaddy, Doddy, Elton John. All the Spice Girls, Lily Savage, Babyface, Lionel Richie, Ace of Bass and Hail and Pace, Joe Pasquale, Samantha Fox and Basil Brush, Hogan Wogan, Barbara Knox and Bobby Crush and Lionel Blair and Cher was there and Doris Day and Gordon Kay and Macy Gray and Fergie too and Betty Boo. Jethro, Silla Black and Twiggy, Kermit and Miss Piggy, Sliced Alone and then there's Arnold Schwarzenegger. We had Tom and Don O'Connor. I never had Madonna, I just thought you'd like to know. <laughs> Boys own and Banana Rama, Kiri Tikanawa, Humperdinck and Wet 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 Wet, Barbara Streisand, Tim Vine, Shack Attack and Ludo, Dana Kajagoogoo and that bloody emu too. <laughs> Had David Letterman, I've never met a better man. Jay Leno was on the show, and Gary Shannon took some handling. Patsy Palmer, Bobby Ball, Robert Redford, Sandy Gore, Manolo, Diana Dawes, Mystic Meg, Barry Moore, Penny G, Brenda Lee, Kiki D, Lisa Riley, Jimmy Tava, Carol Smiley, Bruce Forsyth, and Billy Crystal. I could never list all the many people I have had to sing duets with. Pavarotti, Shirley Bassey, I would sing with Lassie, but not with Freddie Starr. <laughs> It was Davro, Julio and Bruno, lots of names that you know, status quo and not forgetting Dolly Parton, BG, Sting and Jerry Springer, Louise and Deborah Winger, and Robbie Williams too. We had Prince Edward, Brian Connolly on the show, Will Smith, Eternal, Ricky Martin, Sheryl Crow, so many names there wasn't time and one or two just did. Run. I'm out of breath, I'd like to stop Who called out once more from the top <laughs> You know what you can do <laughs> I would like to... Thank you. 
I want to point out that we... I don't want any of the guys and gals who've been on the show complaining if they didn't get a mention, because some of the names just did not rhyme. So <laughs> I want to apologise straight away to Jane Horrocks and Tanya Tucker. Uh, <laughs> that, where, where have we got? A question at the back here. Who's asking me now? Hi, um, it's Naima from The Honeys. Oh, hello! You've done some great duets uh, over the years. Duets? Shows. Yeah, who did you most enjoy singing with? Uh, I, d I did a duet. Well, I was going to do a duet with Pavarotti, but he chickened out. <laughs> <laughs> Pavarotti chickened out. He worried about duff notes. I said, look, I'll cover. Don't you worry. <laughs> I'll be there. Don't you have to worry about that. And uh, Julio did a duet with Julio. I'm going to digress away from your question, but this is absolutely true. When he first used to come on the show, first time he came on was about seven years ago, and he did not speak very good English at all. And it was a bit of a tough job to get through it. So the next time he came on, I said, look, we've got to talk football with him, because he at one time, I don't know if you're aware of this, he played goalkeeper for Real Madrid. He was the fourth or fifth goalkeeper or something in, the, in junior sides. And I had played a bit of football. I did. I played for Northampton Town as a semi-pro for about, uh, I don't know, three years. And they're the Cobblers, right? That's, that's their name, Cobblers. And I'm explaining this to him, right? So he goes, Cobblers? What is Cobblers? <laughs> In a strange Spanish-French accent. What was that? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> oh, Cobblers, Julio, that's what you say to an English crowd if you really want to ingratiate yourself. You want them... To be on your side, you say, Cob well, we just had a giggle and we forgot about it. We all went home. And on the Saturday, and there's a video of this, on the Saturday, went on at the Albert Hall to 12,000 people and said, what is not just cobblers to you all? <laughs> I introduced you to a young lady now who did do a duet with me, and uh, it was fun then. She was a top, uh, top soap star. She is a top pop star. And I think this trend is going to continue. She's going to go up and up into movies and musicals. Please welcome Martine McCutcheon. Hello, you. Hello, you. I've been watching you from the side of the stage. You've been watching. Wiggle. Yeah, I'm bum wiggling everything. What? You let bum go in? Little bum going like that. You should see me in a disco go. Oh, oh, well, my little legs are a blur. I've been known to screw myself into the ground on the disco. <laughs> Listen, you've got that bubble look about you. Oh. Yeah, I think... You, there's, I know there's romance in your life. Mm -hmm. You were a romantic little thing, aren't you? Yes, I am a little bit. Can you remember your first kiss? Yeah, but I can remember can't. mine. I can, I can. I bet you can't remember yours. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that one memory in. And I'm a, are we going to do this song? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okie doke. Give we, it a go. We don't finish together. I'll see you at the bus station. <laughs> The way you wear your hat The way you sip your tea The memory of all that Oh no, they can't take that away from me The way your smile just beams The way he sings off key Kick it 
120 in Dixon Road. Dixon Road, yeah, yes. Tenner will do it. Oh, well. you can step into your own unique world with AOL, where you can be part of a global community of over 26 million members. There's even a place to shop that's been created especially for you, that comes complete with security against credit card fraud. Welcome to AOL. Call 0800 237 237 to be part of it. Now! Finish have made their ultimate breakthrough. A dishwasher tab with rinse agent built in. Introducing the new Finish Powerball 2-in-1 tab. First, the tab delivers the perfect clean. Then, and only then, the Powerball releases the exact amount of rinse agent to achieve a dazzling shine. New Finish Powerball 2-in-1 with built in rinse agent. to the stars with the new celebrity packed Sunday magazine free in the news of the world and there's bigger than ever weekly TV listings with fantastic soap and movie guides here's a secret you'll definitely want to keep to yourself new Sarah Lee secret bites a creamy cheesecake bite hidden in smooth milk chocolate a treat you can eat straight from the freezer new secret bites you won't keep these secret for long Sunday at 8, ITV. Cliff Richards is here. So Cliff is sitting there. Cliff, will you come up and chat? Come on. So Cliff Richards, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not going to give up. Well, I bet. Yeah, I know. Well, I've known you long enough to, to take a liberty like this. I'm over the year off. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we do one of your hits now? Go on, look, I know we've got the music there. We've listened to the key. I'll start it. I'll start it. You can join us. We're all going on a summer holiday. No more working for a week or two. And then left her on a summer holiday No more worries for me or you For a week or two I knew you'd know it We're going where the sun shines brightly We're going where the sea is blue We've seen it in the movies Now let's see if it's true Everybody has a summer holiday yes, they do. Doing things they always wanted to Yeah, yeah I'm going on a summer holiday To make your dreams come true I suddenly realise there's a break here I'll do a gag with you Cliff, we are at Wembley We're at Wembley, we're near Wembley Yeah Who played for England and Scotland at Wembley On the same afternoon in 1946? 
I don't know. The band of the Grenadier Guards. Oh, Let's sing this song. <laughs> you know where? We're going where the sun shines brightly. We're going where the sea is blue. We've seen it in the movies. Let's see if it's true. Everybody has a summer holiday. Doing things they always wanted to. So we're going on a summer holiday to make our dreams come true. <laughs> Cliff Richard, you, I'm sorry, Sparry's year off. So, Cliff Richard, thank you, Cliff. Bless you. Uh, now then, another question, please. Adam Garcia's up there. Oh, just super, super guy from Saturday Night Fever. So what's the question for me? Your show, the, the Des O'Connor Tonight Show, has been running for 23 years on yeah. TV without yeah. interruption. Yeah. What do you... Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all right. OK. Not bad. Um, what do you most enjoy about the show? Well, everything about it. It's a great platform for pop music to shoot things into the charts. But the big kick for me is the list of young comics that started on the first mainstream television with us that are going on to great things. Alan Davis, Frank Skinner, uh, Lily Savage, Bradley Walsh. But there's so many. The list would be here all night. Jethro and, uh, and Joe Pasquale is here somewhere as well. Yeah. Oh, Joe. How are you here, Joe? Yeah. Oh, I thought he was I'm here. Hello. Oh, hello, Joe. Hello, Des. How are you? How are you? <laughs> uh, listen, I, I want to ask you, you know, um, a couple of years ago we did a Royal Variety show together and uh, there's a couple of things. I know, you, you know, uh, this isn't set up, but I don't know if you remember this. At the end of the show, we was all doing, uh, like, uh, free cheers for the Queen. You actually did this, right? And, you went, and it was the same night that the Queen's mum was in hospital having her leg done, right? Yes. And right at the end of the show, you went, free cheers for the Queen, and, I, and everybody went, hip, hip, and I went, replacement. <laughs> Was we, had, we had the camel that night. Oh, yes, we had the camel. <laughs> right. Right. I don't know what to do with it now. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, and it was nearly two years ago, Joe. Have you still got it? Yeah, I, I have as it happens, yeah. <laughs> Where do you keep it? It's in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> See the size of our cat flap. <laughs> Are you going to ask me a question or not? Sorry, yeah. Sorry, I just went <laughs> off into one there. <laughs> You're trying to think of one now, are you? No, no, I've got, I've seriously this one. Yeah. Is, uh, now, listen to everybody talking about all this stuff you've done. 23, you didn't know it was 23 years, right? And after, you got me on it 10 years ago, and 10, 10 times I've done the show, and it's yeah. great. And you've been doing it for 23 years, and as Lionel said, you had hit records all around the world, right? And you've uh, interviewed, as the worst name says, you had interviewed all the big stars, the politicians, and... Leave the keys, <laughs> we'll lock up. <laughs> you had done and now we're in the 21st century now as you as a leading broadcaster in the 21st century right how important to you is it that people use the postcode when writing to friends and family? I think I'm going home to think I to think I helped discover him <laughs> Song. This could have been a hit. This could have been a biggie. This. We should have a sit in tonight. Be good. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. I want to be part of it. New York, New York. And it's vagabond shoot. Along in the street, right through the very heart of it, New York, New York. I wanna wake up in that city that never sleeps to find that king of that head and I'm shot by that eagle, and it's a little town of a shot. Melting 
away I'll make a brand new start of it In old New York If I can make it there I'll make it anywhere It's up to you Pilates body control video and book offer from Kellogg's Special K. It's now easier to improve your muscle tone. Posture. And coordination. Pilates body control video and book offer from Kellogg's Special K. Stay special. Billion dollar satellites. All pervasive intelligence gathering networks. Cradle to grave surveillance capabilities. Voice recognition systems, automatic fingerprinting, communications interception. We don't need any of that. Our inspectors have a list pinpointing every home without a TV license. It's all we need. Travelcare are the UK's largest independent travel agent. We offer honest, impartial advice before you go on holiday, which could prove very useful. Travelcare will tell you what the brochure won't. And I walked out with inoperable, uncurable lung cancer. And sometimes you can feel it, because it hurts. I just wanted to get it out. I don't want this horrible thing eating at me. Yeah, I think it's trying to kill me. I mean, my initial reaction when I was told was, um, OK, well, what are we going to do then? But what I actually thought was, oh, God, I'm dying. If you want to stop smoking, call 0800 169 0169. Harpic 100% Lime Scale Remover destroys lime scale bleach leaves behind 100%. For a Harpic clean, send in the experts.
Dudley, 1978. Things have changed. Miss Titley's woken from her two-year coma. Still look a good girl. And Gordon Grimley. Mr Grimley's already the best teacher we've ever had at this school. But of course, some things would never change. More of Digby. A new series of the Grimleys, Monday, 10.20, ITV. Dame Shirley Bassey. Shirley. Oh, Shirley! Shirley, Shirley, Shirley. Shirley. Do you remember our first date, Des? Well, we only went on one, didn't we? We, we, went, we went on a date. Yeah, we did. I, how could I forget, Shirley? We did. It was a few years back now. Uh, I, I tell you, it was Leeds. It yes. was Leeds. Yes. Uh, I took you for a boat ride on the lake. Yes. And then we went for tea. Yes. And then uh, we went to see your concert, and it was yes. fantastic. And then I took you for a candlelight supper. Yes. And then, it's true. Very romantic. Yeah. And then I took you back to your hotel room. <laughs> you took me back to my hotel room, and you just gave me a kiss on my cheek, and then you left. <laughs> well, what did you think, Shirley? I thought you were gay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for this. I'm for that. No, I agree. Um, who else? Dale, Dale. Uh, well, there's a quick uh, link. Dale. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dale. Couldn't resist that. How oh, lovely, Dale. Good evening, Dale. Hello, lovely, Dale. Well, I won't own up to the date that we went on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you kissed me and left. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, we've both done the lottery live on telly. Oh, yes. Now, I just wonder, because uh, I know for me it's butt clenching doing a live telly show. You. you... <laughs> do, you... <laughs> do you prefer the safety of a pre recorded show or do you actually enjoy that, the, the danger of being on live telly? Well, there's a bit of both, isn't it? I mean, live show, you can't go back and do anything again. You just got to go for it. And in 1986, I was doing a live show. Uh, nearly got me off of television, actually. We, we thought it was a good idea to do it live. And Stan Boardman walked on and started talking about German aeroplanes <laughs> called Fokker Wolfs. <laughs> and he said it 22 times. <laughs> and he never mentioned the wolf bit once. <laughs> we had 22 Fokkers on the Des O'Connor so I was never so pleased to get to a commercial break in my life and I turned to my then musical director, Colin Keyes. Bless him, he's been poorly, but he's fine again now. And I said, Colin, who's next? And for once, Colin was smiling. He said, Oliver Reed. <laughs> Oliver. Well, I introduced Oliver and he, we didn't walk on. He kind of arrived. <laughs> and he walked past me, he breathed on me and another 22 fuckers fell out of the sky. <laughs> And I suddenly remembered something, because I have this theory that if you can get an audience laughing, they will forgive you almost anything. So I thought, I've got to get a laugh. And I suddenly remembered something I'd read about Oliver Reed in The Woman's Own. Right? <laughs> you, like, you can trust The Woman's Own. <laughs> it's reliable. It's not like Cosmopolitan. Cosmopolitan will tell you how to have an orgasm. Woman's Own will tell you how to knit one. It's different. <laughs> so, according to The Woman's Own, he said that Oliver Reed had a tattoo on his derriere. Now, never normally would I ask because he's going to say bum, and I thought, what the hell, what's one bum amongst 22 fuckers? I'm going to ask him. <laughs> I've got to get out of this. I believe you've got a tattoo. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I said, could you tell me where it is? And he told me. And I wish it had been on his bum. <laughs> Up in the control box, I don't think I've told many people this, was a man called Brian Penders who was then uh, directing the show and had been doing so for about 12 years. And he'd released himself from hospital that week uh, with a cartilage operation. And he got his, he's still got the stitches in the wound. He got a plaster on his, from thigh to toe. And he's got his leg on a chair near the door, thinking that when the red light is on, no one will come in to a live suit. He forgot there was one man that was allowed. And that is always the uh, duty manager of the day. Happened to be a wonderful, wonderful bloke called Philip Jones. One of the nicest guys you'll ever meet in showbiz. So helpful to so many people. Now, he was up there and was going to retire in six weeks' time after 25 years, provided nothing had gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
And there he was sitting in his office, right? And I have to tell you that Philip, when he gets nervous, he, he rattles, I wish I had coins. To, to, he, he rattles his coins. Oh, he'd say, oh, Desi. Oh, lovey. We can't have Jim Davidson say anabolics. Oh, we can't. <laughs> no, Joan Rivers talking about gynecal. Oh, I don't want that. <clears throat> so now he's in his office. When he heard the first fucker, he was out of his chair. <laughs> He ran round the back of the studio, he opened the door, bang, he hit Brian, said, Oh, Brian, he said that fella said fucker, Brian. Oh, Brian, did you know that fella was going to say fucker 22 fuckers, Brian? I can't them. I've got visitors, Quakers from Philadelphia, up to, I don't want no more fuckers, Brian. He went up to his office. When he heard Oliver Reed say, Oh, my cock, well. <laughs> By this time, he was out, down the back, over the door, bang, here, Brian. Oh, Brian, he said, that was a cop, Brian. Oh, that was definitely got 22 fucks and now a cop, Brian. Oh, my God, he's getting like a poor. No, it's not like a... Oh, Brian, I don't... Well, who's next? So Brian... Oh, he didn't tell it was Freddie Starr, because that's who's next. <laughs> he said, it's the Archbishop of Canterbury. And I swear, Philip said, he's not going to say anything dirty, is he? <laughs> Live is all right, but not too many. There you go. Thank you, I've enjoyed myself tonight. Um, when Frank Sinatra passed away, I got a, a call saying, it was a quite an important radio call, saying, what would be my favourite Frank Sinatra song? I don't think any of us can do that. It kind of like, it so, so many songs mean so many things to so many people. But there is one absolutely true story about a song that will be indelible in my mind forever with Sinatra. We've been to the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. We had a really good opening Monday night. And we then said, let's go downtown. There's a little clubs downtown, not the main strip. And I'm going back a long time now, 1978. Yeah. And there's a little club called the Cascade. So we go in there and a lot of musicians used to get in. But that night, there's only about 12, 15 people in there. <clears throat> and I said, come on, we'll have a drink. We're having a laugh. And I said, look, we've got two shows tomorrow. I said, we better go now. And just then, in kind of the darkness, the curtain opened, and who walks in? Six fellas like this, and then Frank Sinatra. Not a cardboard cutout, Frank Sinatra. <laughs> fellas, look who it is. We're not leaving now. Let's stay here. And I sat there, and I thought, if he stays here till Easter, I'm staying here. I want to sit in the same room as Frank Sinatra until he goes. Anyway, it went on a bit, and we're heading towards 3 o'clock. And suddenly he got up, and I thought, he's going? Oh, he's going to the men's room. He went over to the piano, and Bill Miller was with him. I met him afterwards, many years later. Bill sat on the piano, and he started to play. And Frank, to about 12 people in that room, and I still think most of them weren't aware it was him, <clears throat> he sang this song, which we've all heard so many times. But that night, he was who he needed to sing it. It's quarter three No one in the place Except you and me So set him up, Joe I got a little story You ought to know We're drinking, my friend to the end of a brief episode Make it one for my way One more for the road I got the routine Put another nickel in the machine Won't you make the music dream inside? Could tell you a lot, but you've gotta be true to your code. One for my baby. No. 
never know it Me, I'm a kind of poet And I got a lot of things to say So if I'm gloomy Just listen to me Till it's all talked away That's how it goes Joe, I know you're getting Getting anxious to close Thanks for the cheer I hope you didn't mind my Bending your ear But this torch that I found it's gotta be drowned, or it soon might explode. Make it one for my baby, one more. Saturday at 9.15, it'll be all right on the night 12. Here on Carlton this Saturday evening, we've Oscar-winning drama to come in Philadelphia, starring Tom Hanks in 15 minutes after the ITV Weekend News next.